it requires dedication. And when you think about the word dedication, it's the quality of being dedicated or committed to a task or to a purpose. Think about all you've heard for the last two days. It has all spoken to us about how this woman lived according to the orders of God in her life and to be dedicated to everything she was called to do. And that dedication falls, as I said, in about four areas, family. Number one, it's clear, she was dedicated to God. That's clear. I don't know how it started. Obviously, she's older than me. I don't know how her sister's siblings can tell you. Uh, but she started with that dedication and began to live that dedication out in increasing quality over the years. Better and better and better and better and better and better. Leads me to that little poem that says, good and better, best, never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. Oh, I can rap this morning. <laughs> Why is that? Because you're never at a place where you should say to yourself, I have arrived. We're always trying and should always be trying, just like Emily Matthews did, always trying to do better. And when she interacted with you, that was the expectation. You could do better. Number two, it's clear. By representation of those in uniform, by the uniform she wears, by the uniform she wore, by these flags, by all those who are in attendance today, she was dedicated to her country. It's a rare find today. As I mentioned to you, for the times that I've had the chance to be out of country, as you read in the obituary, she's been out quite a bit during her 22 plus career. Uh, as a military member in the Army and certainly as a member of the Civil Air Patrol. But during her time in the Army, she's been just about all over the world. And you can imagine now, we're talking about 70s and 80s. Yes. A different world to be involved with. But somehow she found the need and found the reason to get up every day and do her job and do it well. And I must say to you as a, as, as a member of the Army, as a member, uh, as uh, Sergeant LaRosa just mentioned, you don't get those stripes because you go to the store and buy them. Am I right? That's right. Oh, you can buy them, but you're not authorized to wear them. Oh, you can buy them, but you're not authorized to wear it. To wear it means you pay a price for every strike. And it's without question in my heart, Emily Matthews paid her price to wear those stripes. She paid the price to put bars and rank on her shoulders. Third area, it's out, it's clear. She was dedicated to her family. So dedicated to God, dedicated to country, dedicated to family. I have some stories in my mind as I think about Emily Matthews, but let me tell you, yeah, have you ever had family come to visit? Come on, raise your hand if you ever had family come to visit. And if you know family's coming to visit, typically, unless it's a surprise, you try to get your house in order. Come on now. And I don't know if any of you know this about Emily Matthews, but I observed some things while she visited my house, my wife's house, her niece, my niece, my, my aunt by marriage, right? Is that we did all we could to clean the house before family arrived. No, I promise you, I promise you we worked on that. I promise you. I, I, did you hear what I said? I promise you we worked hard. The Clorox was out, the pine salt was out, we rubbed, we scrubbed, we know who's coming to the house! And still, with x-ray vision, she found stuff that we did not see. Where's the vacuum? Didn't, didn't, you know, give me the vacuum. Don't, don't ask for your permission. Just give it to me. Like, I don't want you to, you and my, no, you to get, no, we family. To help ease the burden of the whole event, she would just jump in wherever she could find a space. Dedicated to God. Dedicated to the country. Dedicated to family. 
and it's clear today she was dedicated to her community. As was said also again by the Johnsons and others throughout the last couple of days, you got to get up early to get the farm share stuff. And there used to be an advertisement, I don't know if it was the Army or was it the Marine Corps or was the Air Force, I don't know, but they used to, I think it was the Army, to say that uh, we do more before, than most people do all day, something along those lines, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so get this, folks, to rise early, you have to set your clock. So you don't forget, but I bet you, not that I'm a betting man, but I, I guarantee you that there was a time, at least the times in her life, where a clock was no longer the thing that got her up. Purpose got her up. Purpose got her up. When you got something on your mind that you're trying to accomplish, you got an interview the next day, you got somewhere you need to be, it's hard to go to sleep when you got stuff on your mind. And when you've got the community to feed people on your mind, it's hard to think about sleeping. It's time to think about working. You'll get to sleep. I don't know when she slept. I don't know when she slept. But this lady kept going on and on and on and on. May I say to you, in other words, friends, really, orders to a dedicated life is a calling. The reason it's a calling is because it's apparent that not everyone you meet knows what it means to be dedicated to something for a long period of time. Just about anyone you meet can be dedicated to something for a minute. Some people you meet will be dedicated to something for a few more hours. You may even run into somebody who's dedicated to something for a month or two months, or three months. But to be dedicated to the military for over 22 years and then to join it again as a civil air patrol and to stay dedicated in our community once you return to Miami, that's a special person. And every time I think about getting to a place where I think I want to be dedicated to something, even like, like a diet, anybody know anything about a diet? Every first day of the year, you can find people buying it. In fact, for, for the merchandisers, it's one of the best times of the year, the month of January. Why? Because people set out with the idea that they're going to get into shape, they're going to start eating right, they're going to start doing this and doing the other. But often within 30 days. We've all been there, come on. Something happens. Other things get in our way. But when you think about what Emily Matthews did over and over and over again, it was apparent. There, I'm sure there was some times she didn't want to do something, just didn't feel like doing something. But again, purpose got her out. Got her up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Her level of dedication to God was so high that we can clearly say, listen to me, that she set the bar high. I asked my wife today because I, you know, I don't necessarily do secular music or anything like this, but every now and then I watch a video and I'll see uh, some commercial where obviously there's a group of people on an island somewhere, some Caribbean island, and they're all kind of doing this dance where there's a bar and they're just trying to motion themselves to see how low each person can go. That's not the kind of bar I'm talking about, not how low you can go. The kind of bar I'm talking about is like the kind that you find at a track meet where the last height is inched up a few more inches. And the last height jumped over is inched up a few more inches. She set the bar so high that it's hard for anybody to really get over, but it's going to take, if you try, dedication to accomplish. It can be done. It must be done. But you're going to have to be dedicated to do it. I'm sure this woman of God had some challenges, but again, she never stopped trying to set that bar high. And in our hearts, we too must prepare ourselves, friends and family, to continue to set the bar high. She was dedicated to God. She was dedicated to country. She was dedicated, dedicated to her family. She was dedicated to her, to her community. But the priority, listen to me as I get ready to close, the priority was on her dedication to God. You see, while she had all of these other priorities, she realized in her life 
You can't do the other stuff. Well, you will lose strength to do the other stuff for a long period of time if your dedication to God isn't at its highest level. Because the strength and the power to do anything has to come from God. Because without it, we are nothing. I liken this in the next few minutes, as I said, I'm closing, that this woman was similar to David in that David was a man after God's own heart. To understand why David was a man after God's heart, we need to see what characteristics he had to qualify for such an exalted description. In the book of Acts, the Apostle Paul speaks of God's feelings about King David. After removing Saul, he made David their king. He testified concerning him, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. Listen to that. God help us. God help us. God help us. That we be found before you, O oh God. That we do everything you want us to. The answer to why David was so considered a man of God or a man after God's own heart is found right in the verse. David did whatever God wanted him to do. We learn much of David's character in the book of Psalms as he opened up his life for all of us to examine. And let's know he wasn't perfect, but he never stopped trying. Part of why David is called this man after God's own heart, this dedicated man, this dedicated woman, is that he was absolutely faithful to God. As you heard so many times in the last couple of days, you don't run into Emily Matthews and expect a very short conversation. More than likely, as you also have heard in the last couple of days, it's going to turn from how you doing to let's talk about the Lord. You see, the entry point is where we meet you, but let's direct this conversation where it really needs to go. We need to talk about how good God is. We need to talk about what God has done in your life since I last seen you. We need to talk about what you plan to do for God's sake until I see you again. It just turned, she had a way of shifting the conversation. Because for her and her life, it was all about what does God want? You and what does God want? Yeah. Nothing else matters. Oh, we clothe it and we compartmentalize it in these different areas of what we do, but more important to all of that is God pleased with your activities. So David's faith is clear when he says, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear. Think about how he was getting ready to deal with some things in his future. He said, well, deliver me from the hands of the Philistines. It's a certain mindset you get when you're dealing with certain things at a certain level. And everything that God prepared for, for in one area of life set her up to perform in another area of her life. Everything that God did with David out in the field with the sheep prepared him for dealing with Goliath out in the field. Everything that God dealt with in his early life, in her early life, prepared her for her future. And then she lived her whole life preparing for this moment. She may be before her king. Oh, I love the Lord. How many of you love the Lord right now? Right. How many of you love the Lord? And so I started to think as I close, it's my second close, I'm getting like Paul now. I, I feel that the, the things of God are so important for us to understand. And I figured out how God, I wonder what it would sound like if I could get a little transmission between me and Aunt Emily right now. To just hear, Aunt Emily, how is it up there? I believe she would respond indescribable. A little, we may have a little static because of all that's going on. Shh. I don't know really, how's it doing on that over. They're singing praises to God with great glory.
dedicate your life to God and get your house in order. It reminds me of the song we sang coming in. Oh, friends of God, soon and very soon, we are going to see the King.
as ones dedicated to country, dedicated to God, dedicated to family, and dedicated to community because we are ordered by God. Amen. In Jesus' name, let all God's people say amen. amen.